and tip, and tip your heart. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Boom, boom, boom. Hello, hello. Well, are you ready for some entertainment today? <laughs> we finished our little hats off to Moosey show a little early. Well, Moosey and I are definitely not uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers in this team up, but we sure had a heck of a lot of fun. Now, now this song was originally played by Louis Armstrong. It was mostly an instrumental. He might have sung it, but um, it was first introduced in the 1930s in a Broadway musical. It was a review. They used to do music, dance, and song reviews in those days. And Moosey and I have definitely tried to revive it. So you must stay tuned for the outtakes at the end because Moosey and I, in our uh, <laughs> song that we tried to do together, rolling along, <laughs> had about five different outtakes where either he or myself forgot the lyrics or or Mosey was looking down and we'd dip our hats at the wrong way. But the outtakes are probably the best part of the whole, of the whole thing. This video is really quite different from all the rest of them. And we just got this idea. Well, I was up in his closet the other day and I found actually it turned out to be more than two dozen it was more like 30 or 35 hats that he has collected over the years going way 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 back and he loves hats I love hats so we decided to do a moosey hat show and it involves singing it involves laughs props everything I hope you're going to enjoy this because we have had more fun doing this now the singing is a little rusty when we try and harmonize together. We used to do that all the time. My voice is uh, a low, low alto, and I, I can't even hit too much above middle C. But moosey has got the nice tenor voice. But we're gonna try a couple of songs together, and of course, he does his own thing with others. What I've done uh, to, in trying to put this together Moosey, we, Moosey has done some bits. I'm going to call them little mini shows in between. But in between these little bits, I have picked out photos. Actually, I found a, a picture of Moosey when he was uh, 10 months old or 8 months old. And his mother had him dressed up in a hat. And it even looked like he had a lady's hat on. Maybe she was playing dress up with him and a little blouse. So it starts off with actually a moose head that I found in an old antique shop, minus his antlers. Somebody else got the antlers. But I bought this moose head 40 years ago when we had a home up in Big Bear on the lake. It actually, it was a lodge, a great big lodge. And I bought that moose because the name of it was Moose Mountain Lodge. And it was built in 1929, big, big, big lodge. We had at least 10 years or more of winter fun and summer fun. We had a boat, we would ski and, and have fun in the snow in the winter. It was wonderful family fun. But this moose had, I had all those years. Now, I think that our grandson, Billy Monahan, wound up with the moose head when we sold the house. So <laughs> it starts off with the moose head. And then I have a couple of, one baby picture of Moosey. And then um, the day he graduated from college, a nice picture with his father congratulating him. And that was the day that he also was commissioned into the army as a, a first lieutenant. Second oh, lieutenant. second lieutenant, excuse me. And uh, he had been in the ROTC hole. And three months after that, he went to Fort Knox, Kentucky. And we were married a year after that, and then I went. So that's the background in all this. So I had a few pictures that go way back to then. One of, of Moosey and I also on his graduation day. Actually, we started dating that summer. I knew him during college, but... Uh, we were both busy with other people at that time. <laughs> and uh, 
So the serious dating started that summer that we both graduated from college. So you'll see pictures that I picked all through our life. Pictures of Moosey always with a hat on. I only picked hats and there were <laughs> not hundreds, but a lot of hats, silly hats, funny hats, hats that he wore with babies and children to make them laugh. I think you'll enjoy this. It's not the usual, but but we had fun doing this in our mid eighties and that's what counts. When you have a hat on your head, it gives you some confidence. It also kind of is a symbol of, of who you are and what you are. Now, there's a lot of people that say, oh, I can't wear hats. You know what? Anyone can wear a hat and pull it off. So get ready because showtime is starting. Do you remember John Wayne and the movies? I sure do. Oh, there he was. Except this is not horses. This is tanks. But we still say, Around her neck we wore a yellow ribbon. She wore it for her lover who was far, far away. And she wore it for her lover who was far, far away. Far away, far away, far away. And I made this hat for him. Yeah, I'm all dressed out like I was a freshman. 1955, I graduated, they gave me this sweater. St. Peter's Prep, Jersey City, New Jersey. You had to be there, but I'm not there anymore. And the girls are looking for me there. <laughs> there were lots of girls from St. Aloysius Academy looking for prep guys. I'll bet with that dark curly hair that you had, I'll bet they're looking for you. <laughs> You bought me this shirt in Arizona, and this is our year. And it would be our year if this guy whose name is on the back was still around. This is 20 years old, this shirt. <laughs> Gotta be a Dodger fan. Who this is, is he? The year. Who is he on the back? Russell Martin, he was a catcher. No, I'm not a Padre fan. I'm wearing this in homage to my son. Mangy Moose. I think this was a gift from Dub. I'm not mangy, but I am a moose. Clearwater River. This is the Idaho winery. Bear Hollow Inn, Billy and Bonnie's place. Ah, uh, yes, I was there. I had 20 tanks. Don't have any tanks anymore because you know why? I'm retired. And this one's from North Carolina. Hickory, North Carolina, the Crawdads. Matthew's wife, where she's from. Oh, crawdads. <laughs> this is from Idaho, my son. Bada bing, bada bing, it fits. Gabby I. Come here. No newspaper boys hat. Come on, get your paper here, get your paper fast. I guess this means I'm Irish. Oh, my name is McNamara. I am the lady.
This is called a Greek fisherman's hat. Remember, Buckley used to wear one too. But I have been fishing with my boys from Scotland, got skunked, no fish. In the Atlantic, got skunked, no fish. In the Pacific, got skunked, no fish. So I try twitching hats. <laughs> and up at Big Bear Lake, we went in a competition. And I got skunked, but little Billy won a prize. And he was three years old. He got the biggest fish, peed That's out right. all the men. That's right. <laughs> Cute. But I was no help with my hats. <laughs> Oh, my name is McNamara, I'm the leader of the band. Although a few in number, we're the finest <laughs> in the land. They pay hikes and men and we pay them off a bump. And when we play at funerals, we play the march of salt. Da 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 dum da 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 <laughs> For Hennessy, Pennessy, Poodles of Flute, and the music is something grand. <laughs> A credit to old Ireland is McNamara's band. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. Oh, where did I leave you? McNamara's band? Now put that away for now. Let's try this one out. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. Sure, it's the same old shillelagh me father brought for me. And he makes up, I don't know the words. Sure. Sure, they give me a pint to song, sing this song for you. Oh, a little bit of heaven fell from out the sky one day. And it nestled in the ocean in a spot so far away. Look that up in my book, huh? Oh yeah, there it is. A bluebird. I didn't know we had them around here. Huh. Looks just like this. You know where that one came from? Yeah, it came from your father. Yes, it did. But you know what? He doesn't have a tail. It I know, the, the tail broke. He used to sing the Bluebird of Happiness while I played the piano and he would sing. So it, be as I, boy in the wise and I, and you'll be a bluebird. Of happiness. Yes, and he gave me that bluebird the following Christmas. Look at this. Speaking of bird guys, I love my birds. It says it's uh, 10 minutes to 2, and at 2, this clock will give the, the bird sound the song of the mockingbird. Then when it's three, it'll be a blue jay and so forth. It actually sounds like them. They're recorded and they're quite good. I'm gonna leave this out on the patio. It's kind of nice. And the NFL season's gonna start here at about, what, middle of August sometime? I don't know, this is a Chargers hat somebody gave me. I wonder who. <laughs> well, we're going to have that fantasy football pool again. They had it last year, I didn't go into it. 
But I don't know who won. I think, oh, Brendan or Dolan. Yes. Won it. Yeah. My brother's boy, Fantasy Brian. Fantasy football. They're, they're kidding of one another. Uh, sons and daughters. It's a fun family thing. Yeah. Yeah, and the, and the riding gets a little vicious, <laughs> but that's okay in the family. Yeah. Well, at least I take my binoculars to the football games. But you know what? It's better to watch them on television because you get replays. Yeah, remembering our days in Scotland. One of our sponsors over there <coughs> was a guy named Alec Webster. And he was a conductor of the Clydebank Choir. He was on television and everything. And he would take us to operas and ballets and everything. And then I remember one day, a little girl, Margie was about this big, and he put her up on a table when we were having drinks afterwards. And she said, you take the high road and I'll take the low road. I'll be in Scotland before <laughs> you. And Alec was there directing her. And she won, of all the little children. It was a contest, and she yep. was all dressed up. She was three. <laughs> all the memories we have. Oh, yeah. Was, those were three good years. They were wonderful. Back in the late 60s, early 70s. No, no, no worries about anything. Nope. Great times. Yeah. Well, this is the end of my hat episode. I've got one more. See this? This is alpaca. And um, we went to an alpaca farm. And Nanny chased an alpaca, <laughs> took all the fur off him, brought the fur home and knitted me this hat. How does it look? <laughs> I made it too big. I, I knew his head was big, but <laughs> I, I went into the wool shop afterward and they had wool. <laughs> Hello, most. It's not too tight. <laughs> no, it's a hat that fits you, right? <laughs> there. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching us. It was great. It was fun. Fun day. You did a good job. Thank, Thank you. you. You're a good sport. <laughs> Thank you. The way I wear my hat. The way I sip my tea. The memories of all that. Oh, no, no you, you can't, can't take, take that, that away from me. Oh, you I can't take, take that away from me. <laughs> Give me five. Uh, pretty good, huh? It's a wrap. <laughs> I gotta spray my throat. Yeah. I think we're a little rusty with the singing. I'm at the point where I can't hit any high notes anymore. I think Moosey does better alone. We'll have to practice with our harmonizing. That's right? true. I do better alone. Yeah, you do. You in do. the bathroom, in the shower. <laughs> well, it was fun. So now I have to get it up. Now I had thought that perhaps we have this up by the weekend, but we did get it finished. And today we have Dubby coming at 5.30 to, uh, for her, Father's Day visit, and uh, I think we'll probably have a little supper on the patio. And a Father's Day gift. Yes. Can you imagine? Yes, maybe I'll film that for the weekend. <laughs> and we still have our breakfast Saturday morning. Colleen was just, in fact, Colleen was filming us doing our, our singing routine. <laughs> and I think what we'll, um, we'll be doing over the weekend is filming the Saturday breakfast. They're making the breakfast, but I want to make, I want to use up that brioche bread that I have. I don't want it to go bad. And I think I'll make a dessert for that. That's my contribution for the Saturday morning. Would that be fun? Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Everything's think, fun with you. Well, why not, right? Having fun at this age, honestly, it lifts your spirit and it's better than moping Right? Well, I'm seven, 87 and you're 86. Almost 86. So I was a cradle robber. <laughs> a six month difference. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you were. But anyway, it was fun to do. And um, 
I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for doing all your resubscribing and um, uh, helping us. We love you all. And God bless us one and all. As Moosey said, it's a wrap. <laughs> this was a fun video. Crazy fun, but a lot of laughs and different. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's the end of the day now. And <sighs> we've been in rehearsals all day today and yesterday. And I've got to get busy uh, finishing up my patio. So tomorrow, I'll probably film a little bit of the final getting ready. It won't have the final wonderful romantic touches. But I will be setting the table with a tablecloth. And, and I'm going to wash up those dishes and... And uh, so tomorrow's a little bit of a work day. Enough fun for now. I so appreciate you watching and binging all our videos. And particularly this one. It just shows another side of Moosey and Nanny. And it shows that even in your 80s, you can be silly and crazy. Now, we're not like this all the time, laughing. And we get on each other's nerves just like everybody else. So don't think that this is... Uh, this is the way our life goes, tripping through life, singing and dancing. No way. But it was fun today and many other days we have fun too. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, my friends. I just love you all. Goodbye for now. And yes, God bless us all. And yes, enjoy the outtakes. Rolling. Go. Grab your hat. Oh, I did it wrong. Sorry. For this. this is our thing together. Grab, ready, set, go. Grab your coat and get your hat. It's rolling. Okay. It's rolling. Keep rolling. Okay. Start, Start walking. Grab your hat. No. <laughs> Grab your coat. Ready, set, go. Grab, Grab your coat and, and grab your, your hat. hat. Leave your <laughs> he said, Go. Now you got to look at the camera, not the floor. Stand up straight. Okay. Grab. Oh, you started for you. <laughs> Grab your coat and get your hat. No, tip your hat. Ready, set, go. Grab your coat. And, and tip your, your hat. hat. <laughs> tip your hat, most. And tip your hat. Look at the camera. Grab, Grab your coat. And tip your hat. Leave your, Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct, Just your, direct feet your feet to, to the, the sunny side, side of the street. Of the street. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs>